Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, if you've seen some of my videos in the past, you see my little Altoids uh, tin. This is actually a Newman's own that I had painted. Um, and this one contains my Viking fire steel that I forged out of a file. And um, my prized piece of English flint and some chalk cloth that I made. So what happens if you're out in the woods and you lose your precious piece of English flint or your shirt or whatever you happen to be using for your flint and steel fire kit. Never fear. Look around. Now this doesn't look anything like this. Got a couple pieces broken off. But the thing about this is, this is quartz. Quartz is very hard. If you ever worked around your yard with some metal implements and you hit a rock like this and you saw a spark, that's because this is very, very hard. Okay, It's not as hard as flint is, but it's hard enough for you to get a spark. So, if you lost your flint, look around for a rock like this. We'll get ourselves a piece of chalk cloth here. I like to rip it and fold it over. It gives me a lot more edges for it to catch. Now if it's totally round, you could probably do it on this, but I would try to break off a little piece so you can get some sort of ridge because that's going to be easier to strike, okay? So let's put this right there, okay? So as you can see, I got the ridge right there and the cloth close to it. Get your striker. And there it goes. Now it may take you a few more strikes than it would with your your flint because the flint like I said is harder and really really throws off some sparks you know compared to to this but as you can see it works so my suggestion is if you you plan on using this type of fire starting you know next time you're out in the woods taking a hike bring your fire steel and pick up some rocks you know, most of the time when you're along a river bank, you know, or a stream bed, you, you find a lot of rocks like this. You'll see these rocks that have been tumbled. And, um, you know, grab them and smash them open. Take your steel and, now as you can see where this is rounded, you don't really get anything off of this, right? But right here where it's cracked, you can see the sparks. Again, not ideal, but if you're in a situation where you need sparks and you don't have your chert or your flint, this stuff will work. So go around. You'd be surprised what you can find. I'm pretty sure, um, you know, all types of quartz are going to work. I'm not a geologist, so I don't know a ton about rocks, but um, I would think possibly granite is pretty hard. Uh, granite might work. Um, obviously, iron pyrite would work because that's pretty hard stuff. I believe that they used iron pyrite, you know, um, with another rock originally to get fire before they invented, um, you know, steel. So it's just a fun little thing for you to, to practice with. Get out there and see what kind of rocks you can find to uh, make some sparks. Well, there you go. That's how I do stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you're having a great day.